now is the time to do a walk around on some of the V2 stuff you wanted me to see. I'll check it out. Okay, let's see if it is. Sniper. Is this still the bandit? Wait, why does this, like, look different? Did you change the lighting on this map at all? Did change the lighting? I mean, it's a little bit brighter, I think, right? Or something? So, stickies. Crowd screen's right here, and it has a red pad. Oh, yeah. I swear, this actually looks like better in terms of lighting. So the shroud's over here, and then once it gets used up, it's on a f it's on respawn. Or say it's like 11.15. 45 seconds? Oh, 45 instead of 60, so you got confirmation there. Frags are still there. There's no OV. Mangler. Like you said, I, I could get behind a Mangler swap around. Repulse. Frags. Mando. What's this over here? Is this going to be another bandit? Oh, it's Plaza Pistol. Plaza Pistol. Bandit. I can kind of get behind the swap. Plaza Pistol is kind of in a gimmicky spot, honestly. And what is this? Commando? Yeah, Commando. Ban or Plaza Pistol, though. Okay, and then Bandit. Yeah. Okay. There should be Ovi? Okay, so Ovi should be there. Snipe's still up. Seven. Did you change anything about like game type? Uh, game type settings, Mitch. Playlist settings of this. Uh, Mitch in the chat. He just made these himself in Forge. Change, tune some things a little bit. This is crazy that like just a little bit of like difference. Did, are you able to like change the time of day? Is that what you did? Not much different on this map? Yeah, most of it's just couple different changes, but I mean, this is what I kind of expect on most maps anyway. What I was saying before, though, is like, if Shroud Screen even sat right here, I feel like it'd be fine. It just sucks, or is like, not, not necessarily sucks, but it's like super free when like, it's right here. Like, if somebody spawns up elbow or has tower control, it's like, if you were to just like, go all the way out here, though, for it, it's a lot more of like, a commitment. So, either way... I think the, we, like, I don't know. I, I think if the equipment does stay here, it should be more exposed in this, like, zone. You wanted it far from OS. You're talking about Shroud, right? Yeah. I, I can definitely get behind that, because right now, as it stands, Shroud being right there is, it's not necessarily, like, a free OV, but it makes things a lot easier. It really does make things a lot easier. I can definitely get behind Mangler making a comeback if it stays as strong as it is. Like, it making a comeback and then being intertwined with, like, different weapons like the Heat Wave and Bulldog on some maps. Like, I can get behind that. Eight shots, though, for the Mangler. Maybe? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's like, Mangler is really fucking good. I just don't know if it's, like, nearly as consistent. No, what we're looking at right now, we're not looking at anything that is official in any capacity. Mitch has made settings that he thinks, after listening to a lot of players, players could get behind. However, this is more so just like, this is more like theory crafting. We're just, we're just looking at actually in place where these things would be, what would be where it is, how it gets changed out. Alright, so we spawn in, A-side, sidekick, MPD instead of AR. Commando is still up here. Drop ball is still there. Bandit is still here. Assuming this is going to still be red rack, right? Comes up. Oh yeah, if I kept it in my pocket, it wouldn't be dangerous. Pockets. Oh, you fucking opened up the... <laughs> you opened up the space that's back here. I've seen the videos. Oh, I've seen the videos of this before. Never actually explored back here. A <laughs> fucking heat wave, oh my god. You know, I could get behind that though, honestly. I could get behind that. I don't know why they... I don't know. Can you clamber on this? Oh my god, you can just get up here. 
Yeah, this is a whole section that was back here. This was like data mined a while back. Okay, so that's where heat wave is. So you put a heat wave inside of a bulldog. It's on that side of the map. I'm literally pressing Y. Oh, never mind. Okay, stickies. In the same spot. Shroud screen. Shroud screen is still here. Sentinel beam is still where it is. Bandit is here now instead of commando. Commando is now where Stalker was. Sticky's here instead of spikes. This zone is now opened up. Stalker. Okay. Dude, I, I could really get behind streets being more opened up. I think it being so tight, like tightened up as a three lane is really annoying. There are a ton of jumps in here, by the way. You're talking about like, oh shit. Come on, just like in these little alleyways. Oh, heat wave side. Got it. Okay, and then Needler right here. I don't know if Needler needs to be here, but I can see what you're doing for like having those weapons be more spread out like that. I don't know if this would work out. So here's the thing is I like the opening up of the map, to be honest, because I feel like Streets is very restrictive right now and it's super easy. I do think there probably would be trouble with like maybe keeping track of spawns. There already is trouble keeping track of spawns, but... I don't know how the spawns would work with this in play. Um, this really makes streets a lot bigger if it's involved. Go by red room for my personal favorite. Go by a red room. Are you talking about sitting back here? Like sitting in this spot? Or, oh my god, this is what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I've always been about, like, not really destroying spots, but some of these spots would, like, a spot like this would be absolutely disgusting. Like, it becomes such a disgusting shit show if you had to fight somebody with a heat wave. Literally just locking down this angle here. Sit up there with Sentinel Beam? I mean, the heat wave that spawns right next to it, too. <laughs> sandbox sim i mean this is still so here's the thing the amount of weapons on the map right now only increased one with the needler like you gotta think about that which is fucking insane this map in it in in this current setting it has all of the same weapons except in a needler inclusion like heat wave is a swap for bulldog but there's still a shoddy on the map and a stalker still on the map and the map we play on is way smaller than this. That's fucking crazy, man. Oh, you opened up the vent on Aquarius, didn't you? I know you did. I can already smell it, Mitch. I can smell it from a mile away. I don't have to open up the map. You open up the bottom mid vent. So lighting on Aquarius also changed a bit. Bandit. I'm honestly a fan of Bandit over Commando. Let's see. Did you put Commandos here, though, or is it still sidekicks? Still sidekicks. Lighting is just brighter. There just needs to be changes on maps in general. Even if, like, all these changes aren't made, I, like, this should still be the case. Bottom mid. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think it could work, honestly. I feel like it would make things even more of a shit show for how bottom mid is right now. But... You know, I, I could get behind there being a little bit more, like, to work with on Aquarius. Because, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Like, if somebody's down here, like... You just kind of know where to look, I guess. Oh, yeah, I didn't check. So, Plasma Pistol is there. Let's see, do you still have shocks? You probably put Plasmas here, didn't you? Yeah, Plasmas are here. Camo is still up. Plasmas, no shocks at all. Sentinel beam. I can get behind that. I can get behind a sentinel beam. Oh, and commandos are here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think that'd be good. Cool. 
Then bandit, as per usual. Skill jump by P-Door. Oh, is it off this light? I'm sure it's off this light, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Maybe? That almost feels like too easy. It's like almost too solid. <laughs> I could get behind that. I could get behind that. So, some different lighting on Bazaar. Already a fan because it doesn't look like shit. So that's uh, big props already. Bandit spawn. You know, I kind of miss Bazaar, man. I do kind of miss Bazaar. Especially if like things changed. If things actually changed. I, I do kind of miss it. I can't lie. So, bandit spawns. Sidekick spawns. Nothing in here. Over shield. Spawn. Stickies? Frags. I'm down for a frags. Skewer? I can honestly get down with the skewer too, man. So then, grapple, skewer, these are now open. You know, I can get behind that. I really could. Like, walking around a bazaar, it's like, man, I do actually miss this. But it's like, I don't... It's like... The, the prospect of the map looking more like this and having, like, these extra details and things added and changed makes the map so much more appealing to me right now than, like, playing on Argyle. Commandos are still here. They have an issue with those being open. Gives Blue Base a quicker route to OS. Gives Blue Base a quicker route to getting to OS. Okay, let's see. Isn't it the same route? red and blue side more so red side i think oh wait no os you're right yeah i could see that i could see that it's funny that they so let me it's funny that they would say that when like every single fucking map in halo 5 practically had an advantage for like red side that is pretty funny honestly but that's still the case now like people who spawn Sub on stock or on on streets are literally getting a stalker for free. If somebody actually officially said that, like, oh, if we open up this, they get OV kind of like more freely. Like, it's still in the middle of the map. Like, come on, get a fucking grip. Is in the dead fucking center. I don't I don't buy that one bit. To be honest with you, I I can't get behind any anyone saying that. What was this not? Get out of the way. Not possible anymore. Where do you go again? I haven't hit this in a minute, dude. I haven't hit this in a minute. No, you can still hit it. Okay. Um, and then stickies down here. Yeah. This looks quite a bit better. Ah, there's a little bit of shadowing, but that might just be my own settings. Yeah, I'm just a fan of like changes in lighting, man. Like, I feel like this looks so much better than how the room looked before. And it's like, just tweak some things in Forge. Check sewer. Oh, yeah. You're down here. Oh, the mangler. The old mangy. Let's back up. I see. I see. Needler. Dual needler. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Some of these... Like, I don't know if we would need, like, two plasma pistols and two needlers. Like, that almost might just be a bit much. Because you already have a sidekick, right? Sidekick spawned there. I put shrouds on the map. Oh, yeah, they are here. I forgot about that. Shrouds are here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if shroud would work well on this map. Like, in terms of, like, I, I would hate to be playing against a bubble. Oh, shit. Like, the only thing that happens a lot of times, your only bet to, like, get back in the, like, the moment of the game is to... Like, come off respawn and try to, like, BR somebody cross map going big door or making their run into this space here. And it's like, there being four bubbles on the map possible at a given moment, I, I just don't know if that, that would be, like, good. I, I just don't know if it would be. So maybe thrust could stay, but, you know, thrust still be red racked would be okay. No, I would say thrust staying where shroud is would be the better 
better bet. Like, honestly, I don't mind thrusts. Again, I, I think thrusts actually are fine in the game. They're just way too oppressive right now. If they're not going to be changed to, like, be easier to handle, like, on 3-4-3 side, it just ultimately changes the weapon, then, um, I do think that having it be red-racked is, like, pretty reasonable. I think taking off the walls for commando room this map will be good. Come on, the wall right here? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Again, I, I think Bazaar, like, after we played enough of Bazaar, I think it was okay. Like, I think it was a decent map. I think it's at least on par with Pit, honestly. The only thing is that there's no dueling snipers. But, also, I don't know if Skewer should have, like, two shots. If anything, I think Skewer still having, like, three or four shots was fine. Because, like, skew hitting Skewers was really just not that consistent. Like, it was kind of hard to hit some of Skewer shots. I don't, I don't see it being on the same level as, like, a rocket. So it should have, like, at least a couple extra shots. So Skewer over Shield, still the same. Mando. Stickies. This is looking pretty similar so far. Grapple. This is looking basically the exact same. No spikes. Pulse Carbine's gone, though. Bandit. Repulse. Thrust. Okay. Heat Wave? Maybe. Maybe Heat Wave. Thrust. No Repulse. Stickies. Okay. I do like the I like the coloring. I like the coloring, red and blue a little bit. Giving it a little bit of a difference, Mitch, I notice. Below heatwave and skewer. Oh yeah. So then Sentinel Beam there. That was a needler before, right? In actual play? Oh, needler. The whole problem I, I would say with like some of these layouts is like how much there is in one location. Like there's a skewer, there's stickies, there's a grapple, and there's a sentinel beam all right on top of each other. And then it's kind of like a little bit more spread out, but still, you have a thrust, plasma pistol, or whatever else would be there, and a heat wave. And it's like there's no like disperse, like no real way to disperse it because of like the way this is set up. Yeah. I can agree that Catalyst Slayer should not come back. Like, I can get behind that. But, like, Catalyst Slayer was not like good enough by any means. But at the end of the day, like, every Slayer. Like, most Slayers kind of fucking suck. Like, most of them do. Bizarre Slayer sucked. Catalyst Slayer sucked. But, Recharge Slayer kind of sucks. It's reasonable. It's, I would say it's a little bit more reasonable. But it's like, I don't think it nearly... It doesn't really need to be that bad. There just needs to be changes. Like, there has to be change. Because, like, again, even something like... A Thrust being Red Racked. On most maps, it'll make a difference. It will make a difference, because... It's going to get a lot of utility from one person anyway, unless they just spam thrust every single moment to, like, just spam it. And then they still have to wait for her to pick it up. I think that that changes the dynamic of a map entirely. And the, the, the state of play a lot. That goes for a lot of different things already. Well, that's the thing already, like, there are different, the versions that, the versions of comp that we play are different for most of the maps already. They're pretty small differences, but they really do need to just be different, ultimately. Or at least just change. Like, I think we can all agree, a lot of professional players and just top players in general can agree that there's just problems on a lot of maps.